I'm here today at RAF Linton on Ooze to meet the brave men and women of the Royal Air Force. And I want to find out a little bit about their proud tea drinking habits and traditions. And I want to make sure they're getting the good stuff they deserve. So, how do we make a cup of tea here? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. his job. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tea boy. Uh, yeah, well, that's see. good. I'm a tea lady yeah, and I'm proud of that. Yeah. And has everyone got their own cup? Uh, yes, everyone's got their own, everyone's got their own mug. Uh, you'll be drinking out of Joey's. So you fill up the thing. How long do you leave it for? How long are you using? Uh, I'm normally in a hurry, so once it's done, I just give the tea bag a quick swirl. Squish the tea bag about a bit. And then... Try and get out without burning my fingers. Ow, that's getting hot. That is getting very, very hot. <laughs> Splash of milk. Stir. And that should be an absolutely spanking cup of tea. Okay. <laughs> By my standards. Yeah. Thanks so much. There you go. Okay. This to us. It's got very little flavour, hasn't it? It just tastes of milk and... <laughs> milk and... But anyway... It's pretty good, but... I like that. Do you want me to make you a... Yes, please, A yeah. proper leaf cup of tea? Yeah, Would you prepare to try? I would. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to put a, a teaspoon of tea per person... Mm -hmm. Into the pot, the two of us. Maybe a little extra for the pot. You can see it's got large pieces in it, and that's why it won't fit in a tea bag. It'll break the tea bag. Okay. The difference is this is just very mm -hmm. dusty. Yeah. It's industrially processed. Got tiny, tiny little particles, and um, got massive surface area, so they give up their flavours straight away. Yeah. It's the floozy of teas. Yeah. And I know you RAF boys like a fine, refined lady, so that's why I brought you. A proper leaf tea. And you can see the particles are much bigger. Yep. They have a smaller surface area, so it takes a little bit longer for the water to penetrate the leaf. But the subtleties and the sweetness and the flavour you get is worth that tiny bit of a wait. That is definitely much better. Are you converted? Uh, absolutely. So Although I probably wouldn't have... I make tea very, very quickly, because I normally don't have time to... I know it only takes two minutes. It's a minute longer, probably one minute. So you pour it in the teapot, and you can make it for a couple of people, a nice big teapot. Yeah. One minute, pour it out. I, I'm very tempted. I'd probably very quickly become the tea boy, though. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Terry Clark. Lovely to meet you, Terry. Hello. Who is the last surviving member of it from Yorkshire from the Battle of Britain. That's right. Yes. Uh, yes. Look at all this. You have so <laughs> many medals, they don't even fit on your jacket. Could, well, you, could you run me through them? So what's this one here, the first one? Well, that's the uh, Distinguished Flying Medal um, for destruction of six um, enemy aircraft, assisted in the destruction. Um, the next one Battle is the Aircrew Europe with the Battle of Britain class, which is very important. That one. Yes. No, that one is the war medal, that one is the defence medal, medal, and that one is the air efficiency award, because I was in the auxiliary air force before the war. We went down to Red Hill and converted to bow fighters, which was a faster aircraft. It was equipped with airborne radar. Airborne and, radar, um, I didn't know that. So how did yeah, that work? Yes, and we, the, um, we had four 20 mil millimetre cannon and then the belly of the aircraft, which was good firepower. And of course, my role as an air gunner ceased, I had to become a radar navigator with my little radar set and um, 
chasing um, the, the enemy at night. We still remained night fighters. Once you become a radar navigator, you keep the same pilot because you, you've got to become a team. In words, you have to paint a picture to the pilot so he can visualise where the enemy aircraft might be once I've said contact. He's diving down, starboard, hard starboard, turn, turn, up a thousand, he's turning again. Keep turning right, he's turning and turning, keep following, keep following. Yeah. But and you, you must have you, been... You've got to... You, you can't say he's turning right and go silent, because the pilot then, you know, doesn't know what's happening. Are you a, do you, are you a tea drinker, Steve? I do drink tea, yes. Brilliant, and you've got strong opinions about this. Um, Where are quite you from? mild, I'd say. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I'm from Lancaster. Okay, so you, you, you're an experienced tea drinker. I'd say I've been drinking a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ready. <laughs> Come on. Special you, Dwarf, special you. So this is the first tea we had. Okay. Simple black tea. And then this is a Darjeeling. It was actually from an area called Meghalaya between Assam and Darjeeling. Mm -hmm. Very small farm. Really beautiful farmers, really good people. And they only make a few kilos a year, it's not a, it's not a big... A few kilos a year, that's it. Yeah. It's quite, yeah. So it's a good stuff. That's strawberries to a pig, this, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> you deserve the very best. <laughs> if anybody does, it's you, isn't it? it certainly is. Yeah. I also, <laughs> I also feel a bit bad about builders, don't you? You know, why, why, is, it, why is a really bad stuff called builder's tea? I don't They're know, well, working men. They work hard. They're just hard. like a big, a big cup and a strong tea. Yeah, but, but it could be a strong tea full of flavour. In 1968, only three percent of people in Britain drank tea bag tea. You think? Yeah, and now only three percent don't. This is the sort of thing your grandparents would have had. A proper cup of tea. But it, it, it does taste a lot nicer, but it, it does take longer. Then you'd have to wash that. That couldn't go in the dishwasher. Yeah, it could. Get it? Yeah, you can get a nice big brown Betty, put it in the dishwasher. Oh. Doesn't even need washing. Just rinse it out. Easy. Okay, now try this without milk. Without milk? Yeah. Okay. Have a smell of it as well. Well. Wow. Tastes like a completely different drink, doesn't it? It tastes not spicy, but it's got, it's got a lot more taste to it. As soon as you taste it, you can taste... It tastes like tea or You can really taste the leaves in it. used to have a naffy wagon come round and, and this is where I, I learnt um, one or two things. Um, you could have um, a penny wad and a penny char, you see. Well, I had an idea what char was um, from reading Indian books, of course it's tea, but I, I couldn't understand what a wad was, but it's a bun. It's delicious there, it's much, I can't think of a description for it other than, um, like you say, richer and just got less bland. It is, that's PG. good. Yeah. Yeah, you don't live bland lives, so you shouldn't have bland tea. <laughs> Here is the tea bag tea. Sorry, Thank you. Hot. Totally different, it's bitter. Bitter, it's yeah. all you get really, and you need to put the milk in. Mm. Go, go and try. Mm, that does taste uh, not horrible, but nowhere near as nice as mm. you would normally think it would. Have Strange, to, actually, to try that. With this little bespoke blend I made for you, would that if I brought if that if I had that in the mess, would you be would you proud to drink that? Would you say that? Was oh, definitely, yes. absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That was exactly what I wanted you to Good. say. <laughs> the fifty quid comes here. <laughs> Just show you what I did. Is I I made this specially for you, oh. and I blended a whole lot of proper teas. Ah, oh. oh, yes. Isn't that oh, gorgeous? Yes. Mm. Anyway, I need that Most for you. unusual, lad. Oh. RAF brew. Yes. Oh, what a splendid idea! Very nice. Brilliant. Very nice indeed. A lovely taste to that. Yes. Yeah. It's a property, uh, but isn't it? Un unusual. It's um I shall have to have more of that.